Hello Miss Friends, today I want to show you the new pattern I'm working on, maybe if you follow me on Facebook or um, Patreon you already know I'm working on an eye. I did this eye and I have showed you the picture of this eye and many of you um, were very enthusiastic about this eye so I decided to make a, a tutorial, obviously, because I'm really very very glad to share. If I can do something that makes you happy, if you will be happy to make another eye <laughs> with beads, I will be more than glad. It's something so so small, but uh, I think in life uh, the things that makes us really happy are small things. So, but about this eye, I want to tell you something that I think it's important. I've made this eye, okay, and you ask me for a tutorial, and that's okay, but <laughs> when you ask me for this tutorial, I realized that I haven't used a specific pattern to create this eye. Follow me if you can, and I hope I will be clear in explaining what I want, what I want to tell. It's not easy for me because, you know, English is not my language, so <laughs> sometimes it's complicated. I, I think in a language and I have to translate, so <laughs> it's hard. What I'm trying to tell you is that I had an idea of making an eye with beads, okay? And I start making it. I didn't use any pattern. When I want to do something and I have an idea, I don't go to watch all my books or I don't Google for the technique. I already know all the main techniques with beats. So I let my intuition go. And the intuition tells me what I have to do. <laughs> It seems like, like it's something quite magic, but it's not. It's strange when I, when I talk about this, but, but if you are creative, you know this is the way that creativity works. It's not something we think, it's something we feel. Okay, so I did this first eye, then you asked me a, tut a tutorial about it, and uh, I realized I had to make another eye, because this eye is made with a specific pattern. If I have no specific pattern, it will be very hard to tell you how you can do it. Because in this case, you have no um, rules to follow. But if you need to learn something, you need to follow some rules. And in order for me to explain the pattern, I need some rules, okay? But creativity, it, it's not something that pass through rules. No. And what I want to tell you in this video, it's not uh, that I use intuition, okay? <laughs> it's not a big news. Everyone that is creative use intuition to create something. What I want to tell you is uh, that intuition is something that belongs to every one of us. Each human being has intuition inside. Some of us uh, as, have developed very well this, this particular ability. I'm not very good at it, but I use it. I use my intuition. Some other one, they nearly know that intuition exists, but it does. And uh, sometimes when I speak with people, when I talk with people, many times uh, the persons uh, tell me, oh, you are so lucky, I'm not creative at all, I'm not very good at being creative, I can always, I can only, sorry, follow the rules, I'm not able to be creative. And that's not true. That's what I want to tell you in this video. Being creative is something that is inside every one of us, it's an ability is the ability to use intuition to create something. Intuition is like if you go and pick up an idea and then you try to make that idea real. 
in the life. I, I can try to make real with beads, polymer clay or while I'm cleaning my house. I don't care. I can be creative in every part of my life, every part of my life. And be sure that you can live through intuition. You can use intuition in everything you do in your life. And you can, even if you are not very familiar with intuition, you just only have to practice. Maybe I'm lucky because uh, I'm 34, nearly 35, and uh, I, I've developed this intuition all my life, all my 35 years, okay? Because I was creative when I was very young. I have never done something very beautiful. Um, I'm not uh, Michelangelo or Raffaello or uh, Van Gogh. No, I'm not like that. But I use my creativity to do small things. And my real happiness in being creative is the process. I don't care if what I create is beautiful. I like to create because when I create something, I need to use my intuition and I like to stay in that state of mind. That's the reason why when I create something, then often I say, I don't care if it's beautiful or not, because it's the process that really fed my soul. I am in a particular state of mind and everyone that is creative know this thing. If you think you are not creative, it's just a thought, because you are. Every one of us is creative. Every one of us has intuition. Maybe I'm lucky. I have developed my intuition when I was very young and I'm very comfortable in using my intuition. Maybe it's, that's not the same for you. You have different past, you have different memories, different experiences in your life. And maybe you are very good at something different. But if you want to develop intuition, you just only have to practice it. You, are, you, have just, uh, you just need to know intuition, to get in contact with this feeling. It's like when you connect with something, something that <laughs> sometimes uh, I can feel that it's, un it's something outside, but I think that sometimes it's something very, very inside, so inside of me that I think it's outside. <laughs> it's very strange to, to explain. These, uh, these movements of the soul are very strange to explain by words. Because it's something that we feel, not something that we uh, think. And there are no rules in, in what we are doing. But I want to tell you this. Try to be creative. Don't say to yourself, I'm not good at it, I have only to uh, copy that pattern. That is good, if you enjoy it, it's good. But uh, what I want to tell you through this video and through all my videos is that if you learn all the steps to create something, while you create something, you can feel that something inside of you is moving and that's intuition that is trying to give you a new idea. And uh, while you follow my pattern, maybe, at one point, maybe you can feel the desire to change something. That's intuition. You are not thinking. You are feeling something. That's intuition. All my tutorial can help you to practice this thing that's in, that is very, very important. Not only because you can create with beats, but if you learn to get very familiar with your intuition. This intuition becomes part of your life and you start using it in almost all the things you do. And your life becomes to be creative. You start creating your life, not something with beats. And you start go beyond all the limits of the thoughts. We have very a very limited mind, we have very limited thoughts, because uh, we have some... Um, 
we really believe in something we really believe we can fly but we also believe we are not good enough we also believe we are not beautiful in the body or in the soul in the heart we think um, we, we have so many limitless thoughts i don't know if it's correct in grammar but the thoughts are limited but what we feel is infinite and when we start to learn how to feel and how to let our intuition guide us through lives we start using intuition more and more in many things we do in our lives so that's the point i i I don't know why why I'm doing this video. I only needed to tell you this. Believe in yourself and try try to make something. If you are very attracted by beats, that's good because that's a very good way to practice creativity and intuition. And I can assure you, the most of the time I'm creating something, I'm, I did not think about the rules of the specific technique or the rule to bezel something I use my intuition okay now I need a smaller bit okay now I need this color okay I need this color and while I'm working I can see that the shape I'm creating is uh, becoming real step by step in front of my eyes I don't know I really don't know what I will create. Maybe I had an idea, but it's not that I will make that idea for real, for sure. I don't know. And that's the process that is really... that, that makes me smile, that makes me happy. <laughs> that's the process and that's what I, I'd like to express to you through every video through everything I do and uh, and that's all now I I go and I I have to finish the pattern because I have to finish the back part and then I will start um, recording the tutorial thank you for watching I hope you understand something of what I I said and uh, thank you so much for everything see you soon on the next video bye bye bye